Hi everyone, Corey here from Tales from Polk County Girl. In this video, I'm going to be showing off my Frankenflex that I made and explaining to you how to make one yourself. Uh, this, as you can see, has bigger rings than any mini flex I have shown in the past. Now, what is so special about this one? Well, first of all, it's not an official mead shopping organized mead organize her shopping companion one of these days i will get that right but what it is this was a five subject flex binder that i cut down into mini flex size so why did i do this when i have a ton of mini flexes well to be perfectly honest um two reasons i put all the purple ones that i had kept for myself back together and have them listed on Amazon. So if you go to Amazon and you look up the Mead shop, the Mead Organize Her Shopping Companion and you see the purple ones listed, I am the one selling those, full disclosure. So just so you know. Uh, and the second reason was, as much as I love the Mini Flex, I was, I was carrying around so much other stuff in it that... I never really felt I had enough paper. So to solve this, what I did is I was very happy to find out that the Mead Flex binders come in a five subject setup, which has two inch rings. These are huge two inch rings. And what I did, and, I'll, and I'll, I will visually show later, I'm not gonna actually make one, I'm just going to use a regular flex binder and a ruler to help illustrate but I just measured it out uh, this is six inches by nine inches and actually if you were to take the exact measurements of this it would be a little off I made it during a uh, a um, flight of whimsy shall we say when I was creating a whole bunch of different things one night um, if you think this cover looks familiar, you are right, because mind the Velcro. What I did was I just took my old uh, mini flex cover from a previous video and put it on this one. This one was originally purple. I had some blue and purple leopard print duct tape I had put on it. I got tired of that, so Velcro dots attach voila now this making your own means it will not have the elastic band just keep that in mind if you like having that elastic band i don't i have not put one on and i have not experimented with putting one on so i will be of no help for that but i like this thing because it has so much more room um there's my dashboard with post-its shopping lists other notes like I just have so much in this thing and I love it I really do and I've been using it a lot more I'm writing more it says Carrie article and I spelled Carrie's name wrong I'm so embarrassed about that um Carrie Harling who writes uh the paper planning e-magazine I've got three different articles I want to write for her, and they're all in here, and, you know, everything. You know, brain dumping list, all that, and I have a ton of paper in here, too. And this is all steno pad paper. That's, I did trim it. Steno pad paper does fit. Here, let me show you this page. But it does hang over a little bit, so while it fits this way... This way, I did trim about a quarter inch off. Personal preference, but that also helps it line up with the, um, where are they? It helps them line up better with the dividers that are in here. So that, because when I was trying to write on this, as you can see, it's just folding over. But let me get back in here. So this is all paper. I have a ton of paper in here, and I love that. And I find that having this much paper in here when I get an idea for a new list or an article I want to write for Carrie or a blog post I want to write or even you know a previous video ago 
These were the notes I've been jotting down all week for my knitting podcast episode. And I'll just, um, I'll archive that after this video. But I love it. I think, yes, it is awkward. I'm not going to lie. This big honking thing, it is a little awkward to close. And it's thick. So yeah, it is very thick. All right, back to chaos. So opening it up, there's more paper in the back. I've got lined paper behind that. And all the way in the, after this back um, divide, pocket divider. These, well, these are notes about my scrappy blankets. I was wrong, there are two, there are two more um, dividers back here. Uh, these are notes about Scrappy 10 Stitch and the mini skein blanket I'm doing. I was playing around with di with different ways of turning this into a planner, and these are some file effects, A5 inserts. They would fit. I would just need to repunch them because file effects holes are. Re I'm so sorry about table shaking. File effects holes are too small to fit on these rings. There, I said it. I also, as you guys know, I do use the Passion Planner, so I printed out the Passion Planner compact page, just a couple of them, to see how it would fit in here and see how I'd like writing in it. I don't. It's too, The compact is too small for me. And for those of you that haven't seen this setup, if I can turn the page, this is a blank daily that I made. So if I want my uh, my uh, hour half hourly setup and then a notes list, I have that. Yeah, yes, that is my watermark. This setup is available on my Etsy shop to purchase. It is a digital download. Uh, okay, now behind this one, this pocket folder. That's our shopping list. We went shopping yesterday, so I can get I can recycle this. But behind here, I just moved all my coupons into here. Joanne's coupons. Can you see where my priorities lie? I've got extra bucks at CVS I need to go spend. But, I mean, we would be someplace, and I always have this stuff with me. And it'd be, oh, well, I had a coupon for that back home. Uh, crap. I had that coupon back home. See, I was always, I wasn't redeeming my coupons. Wow, autofocus just kicked in. Because I never had them with me. Now, with this big honking mess, I do. Now, why use something like this instead of a file of facts or a day timer or the traveler's notebooks that I was using? For me, it really is the fact, I'll fix the cover in a second. It's the fact that I can take this page out. Hang on, my focus is going weird. Sorry. Is I can take this page out right here and put it into a regular binder. Now this is a regular, oops, sorry. This is a regular, I need a new tripod, you guys, oh my lord. A uh, three ring binder and I can just take a page out of that one and put it in this one no problem now for those of you that watch my passion planner videos uh, the passion planner was in this flex binder I have since moved it to a flex binder with bigger rings are you seeing a theme but what I'm going to illustrate on this is if you want to make your own, if you want to go buy the five subject um, flex binder and make your own Frankenflex, what you need to do is when you buy it, take your ruler and measure six inches across here and nine inches down. It helps if nine inches is actually on the screen. And measure down here to nine inches. This does mean you will be cutting before this last ring, but that's okay. 
But on the back, what I want to point out is this, the ring holder mechanism. When you go to cut through this, I had to use, my mother-in-law bought me this awesome pair of shears. You can use them in yard work. You can cut a chicken up with them. You, they're like all purpose shears, and but they're very dangerous because they can cut through bone. So when I am not using them, they are locked away and hidden. So no one, so no little children, when my niece and nephew are here, find them and hurt themselves. But you will be cutting through this. And when you measure six inches on the back, you need to include that. So right here where this plastic ends, that is where you need to put your, your ruler at six inches and then just measure out. Don't measure six inches from here because your whole thing will be off. Now, when you cut through this, I cannot emphasize this enough. Be careful because like I said, I was using all purpose shears that were designed to cut through bone. I was terrified cutting through this. Um, and I was being safe. I wasn't, you know, trying to do anything stupid, but cutting through this part, this ring mechanism is very hard. So you can either go at it multiple times with a box cutter and weaken it, cut through it that way. If you've got heavy duty pruning shears or some all purpose shears, um, you can use those. If anybody has a pair I think they're technically called medical scissors. They're the ones that are kind of bent. And my dad has a pair. Uh, he's not in the medical field. We always called them the penny cutting scissors because you literally can cut a penny with them. If you have a pair of those, they're this. I think I really do think they're called medical scissors. They got the handle and they come down and they kind of make a V. Um, those might cut through this as well, but be careful. I cannot emphasize that enough. Now, normally, I know when somebody's trying to explain how to do this, they would be doing making a video on how to actually do this. Well, this thing has been sitting on my shelf for years. I made it the same night I made Melanie's Travel Flex because I was just playing around and, hey, what can I make, right? We all have those days. Um... So, because I'm not, because I wasn't planning on making a new Frankenflex, let me just turn back, I can only point out and visually explain how to do this. I can't actually walk you through it. I do, oh, excuse me, I do apologize. I, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. Um, but I love this thing. I, I love all the paper. I love how chunky it is. And for some reason, this being chunky is acceptable and fine to me. When my traveler's notebooks were getting a little chunky, I couldn't stand it. I had to have my traveler's notebooks almost as thin as possible with the least amount of stuff in them. And I know that sounds silly, but that's what made sense to me. I think it's also because I know that to write in this... I don't have to just leave it open. It will curl under so its footprint is smaller. And I think that's also something that I love about having this Frankenflex. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I will see everybody next week. Bye-bye.